Have you ever wondered how you can project your mobile phone screen to your laptop? If you are looking for a solution to your problem, then you are in the right place. Hello everyone, this is LD from Digital Guides TV and in this video, I'm going to share with you how we can project our mobile phone screen to our laptop using Windows 10. So you can see now my laptop screen and you cannot see anything like projecting to this PC in this um, menu here. So what we're going to do is to activate this feature so that we can easily project our Android phone to this laptop as our secondary screen. So to do that, let's click the start button, go to setting. And once it is open, then you go to the system and you find here projecting to this PC. Then click this one. And if you cannot see any installed features in your PC like this, then go to optional feature and then click add a feature and on the search box you just search for the wireless display now just click this one to select it and then install and just wait windows 10 to install this feature in your laptop so installing this feature takes time so just be patient until it is done so we can see it here already wireless display allow other devices to wirelessly project to this computer requires mericast capable hardware so what I'm going to do now is to refresh or restart my laptop. After restarting our laptop or PC, we can go back to the start menu and go to setting and go to system and find projecting to this PC. And you can notice already that it is activated. It says here, project your Windows phone or PC to the screen and use its keyboard, mouse and other devices too. Some Windows and Android devices can project to this PC when you say it's okay. So you have to choose the recommendation here, we have available everywhere to secure network, available everywhere or always off. It is recommended. So we will just choose always off as recommended. And then as to project to this PC, we can choose first time only or every time a connection is requested. And then required pin for pairing, you can choose never, first time or always. So I will just choose first time so that the next time I can connect to this PC without requiring any pin for pairing. This PC can be discovered for projection only when it's plugged into the power source. This is on. So now I'm going to launch the connect app to, the, to project to this PC. We can now already connect to our laptop screen. So now I'm going to use my phone to connect or to project my screen to this laptop. So on my Android phone, I'm going to the setting or to the drop down menu here and I will choose casts. Turn on. Now it is searching for a device nearby. As you can see that uh, our laptop screen is showing up. So I'm going to choose this one, desktop 6P1. I'm going to choose this and I'm going to connect. So on the laptop, it says here, enter pin on your mobile device. So I'm going to enter this pin and then click accept and just wait for a moment until it is connected to my laptop. Now on the laptop, it says that it's already ready to connect. Now you can see already on the laptop, my screen from my Android phone. So from here, we can uh, remotely control our phone using our mouse on our laptop. So I'm going to click YouTube and watch video from my phone going to my laptop. You can see it is simultaneously open. Now you can see that once I browse my phone here, it appears also on my screen on my laptop. The projection also follows the orientation of your mobile phone. So when you click the full screen on your mobile phone, you can also see the full screen on your laptop's screen as projected. So this is best if you are having presentation. If you want your audience to see on your phone without any wireless equipment, you can use directly from your phone to your laptop using this method. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, and share your comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And click the bell notification so that you will be notified every time we have updates in this channel. See you in my next one. Goodbye.